All right, here we go with poultry. And remember, poultry is the exception to every rule. So they have completely different parts than cattle and swine. So poultry anatomy, we can use it to evaluate live birds, but also laying hens. So here are the different anatomical parts of poultry. So the comb is that red structure, that fleshy thing on top of the bird's head. Easy to remember because a comb combs your hair, sits on top of the head. There you go. Um, wattles. Wattles are easy to remember because they look like the comb, but they're actually on each side of the head just below the beak. They kind of hang down. Um, the beak itself is that pointy thing on, front, on the front of the bird's face. Um, this is where they take in food from. So the eye ring, this is actually a ring of color that surrounds the eye. It's kind of exactly what it would sound like, but they do actually have an anatomical part that is the eye ring. Um, the earlobe is actually just a slightly thickened tissue, and it sits just below the ear opening. It's very hard to see. The vent is the external opening at the back of the bird. And the hawk, this is the only thing that's similar between all three species. They also have a hawk. So just like cattle and swine, they have that joint in the hind leg. It's called the hawk. Chickens also have a hawk, and it is essentially their knee. The shank is the leg of the animal. The toes, these are the structures at the bottom of the bird's feet. They're exactly what you think they are. And then the breast is the muscle portion at the front of the animal just along the breastbone. The back is that flattened area just behind the head of the animal. The abdomen is actually the front of the bird, very similar to where your abdomen would be. And then the body is basically the side of the bird, but we call it the body instead of the side because it's poultry. All right, we're gonna talk about broiler breeder confirmation selection in the next video. I just wanted to cover anatomy in this one.